<laughs> I said, I want my children to hear what Jesus is saying. Other parents wanted their children to hear Jesus too. They moved closer and put their children down on the grass. One small boy tugged on the corner of Jesus' robe, and Jesus turned around. Ah, Jesus said, smiling, and he bent down to hold the hands of the children standing nearby. But the disciples scolded the parents. What do you think you're doing? Jesus is too important and too busy to talk to these children. Move your children back. When Jesus heard the disciples say these words, he stood up and turned back to the grown-ups. What do you mean? Jesus said to the disciples. These children are as important to me as you are. I want to bend down and look in their eyes and tell them about God's love too. Never stop anyone from coming to see me, especially children. Let the children come to sit on, on my knee. Children like, children like these are part of God's big family too. Then Jesus knelt down to look at each child in the eye. Come sit with me, Jesus said. I will tell you about the love of God, my father. Jesus sat on the grass with all the children and told of all the girls and boys about God and God's family. Then Jesus put his hand on every girl's head and every boy's head and blessed them saying, remember God and I love you just the way you are. Then Jesus stood up and said to all the grown-ups, remember my words, whoever does not love God like a child won't be part of God's family. So we think you are a very important part of God's family. And we like to make special rooms and special places in the church just for you and have a special time for you children to let you know that you are an important part of God's family. Now, while Jesus was walking around, a rich man had some questions for Jesus. A rich man asked Jesus, what do I have to do to love me for, for God to love me forever? I think I'm doing everything God wants me to do. So will God always love me? So everything you have, Jesus said, give all the money to the poor, then come follow me. The rich man was shocked, sell everything I had and lots and lots of stuff. He walked away from Jesus. Jesus said, it is hard for greedy people to enter the kingdom of God. In fact, it is easier for a lumpity bumpity old camel to walk through the eye, itty bitty eye of a needle. But don't forget, for God, all things are possible. That's what we mean. How do we get to eternal life? Believe in God. Anything is possible. But he didn't forget. For God, all things are possible. God loves us always. And no matter what, nothing we do gets us God's love. And there is nothing we can do to love God. It is forever. So that's a very simple story. How do we get to heaven? We believe in God. And that's what he says. Very simple truth. So we hope to see you all on Sunday. And remember, we are on Zoom on Wednesday nights at 530. So we'd love for you to join us. Okay, see you later. Okay.